easy chart graphing in Excel. The first thing that you want to do is copy your data from your table in Word. And you're going to paste it in the second row in Excel. Put in your header titles. So here it's harmonic number and then measured frequency. You then want to delete the columns that you don't need. So that would be these four columns. And then finally put the last header title in. If you copied your data and it has units in there, we have Hertz here, what you want to do is go to your search bar, put in Hertz, and then click Replace All. Once you have all your data as just numbers, now you want to make sure that you have the columns set up correctly. The first column should be just your x-axis values, and the other two columns are going to be your y-axis values. This will automatically give you the correct data on the graph. So you're going to now select everything, including the headers, go to Insert, and you're going to go to the scatter graph and the lines with dots. Now you've got a graph. Now we add a chart title. So you're going to do that above the chart. It's y-axis versus x-axis. So for this, it will be frequency versus harmonic number. Go back to add chart element. You're going to add a primary horizontal label. So this would be harmonic number. And you're going to add the primary vertical. And this is frequency. Always put the units. Now we want to make sure that the line fills the graph. So you see here we've got no data here, no data here. So we want to change the maximum and minimum values. So we go to axes and more axis options. So we've got from 0 to 7 here. This can be just from 1 to 6. Close that out. And now we see that's filled the graph. I'm going to click on the other axis. And now this one we can make our minimum number is 10.9, so we can make it 10 to 70. And now our line fills the graph. Next, we want to add trend lines. So we go here, trend line, more trend line options. And for each one, you're going to click on display equation on chart. That will put the equation over here, which will give you your slope. We'll do the same thing again. Trend line, more trend line options. Pick the other one. Display equation on chart. Move it so we can see it. Now you're done. You can click, hit copy. I'm going to go back to your Word document and you hit paste and there's your graph. All that's left to do now is put your uh, percent differences for the two slopes and that will go here.